Michael uh, raced one over. Bit of a non-event, that one. Yeah, very much so. Uh, I, a non-event for me at the start. I stalled on the grid and uh, quickly got the starter going. I, I don't know how many cars passed me, but uh, fortunately it's got a bit more power than some of the cars in front of me, so I was able to, I think, get back to where I should have been by turn one. Make a bit of a catch-up. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, it was, it was really enjoyable racing that first lap uh, uh, with some of the other guys in the middle of the field there. Yeah, it was really good. So. Well, today's a bit of a, a, a change than uh, first thing this morning with qualifying. Very wet out there and uh, oil on the yeah, it was, it was wet and oily. I don't know if I'm uh, the only one saying it, but it was the slipperiest I've ever driven on, and uh, and my thing had absolutely no traction at all. And uh, it was a it was it was good fun, but um, yeah, but I was slow. So, <laughs> well, uh, race two coming up this afternoon. How's the car going for you this weekend? Car's really good. I've got to thank uh, my brother Paul, who's here helping me. Uh, Vin Whitehead, as always, was up yesterday, giving me a hand and uh, and did some work between Witson and now. And, uh, and, all, and all the guys that helped me out, they know who they are and they've done a really good job, so thanks very much. Well, mate, good luck for the rest of the weekend. Uh, you've got to keep up that pointy end there. Yeah, I know, I do. I've got to, uh, I, think the car's, I think the car's good enough. I've just got to extract a digit and uh, see, if I can, uh, <laughs> see if I can get up the front there. But uh, with, with the dry, I reckon I'm, I might be half a chance, but we'll wait and see, mate. Wait and see. Right, good luck for the rest of the weekend. Yeah, thanks very much for doing the video and, uh, and to all the press sponsors in the club. It's uh, really great, so thanks again. So Kelvin, uh, this weekend at Sandown, you were actually having a try to get out there, but it didn't quite come to, together. No, I, I had entered with the plan to do Friday for sure, and maybe the weekend, but I actually did chemotherapy last week, and I'm a little bit still under the weather from that, so not quite the, um, where I'd hoped to be. Okay, so you haven't been quite well, very well lately? No, look, unfortunately, um, I had cancer five years ago and it's reared its ugly head again. I'm, I've completed five cycles of chemotherapy and one to go, so um, this was a big goal for me to get here. It actually got me through last week's chemotherapy, so um, I'm pleased to be here to watch and hopefully uh, on the mend. So. Well, mate, it's great to see you at the track and we really hope to uh, everything goes well with the chemo and we uh, see you back out there again soon racing. Thank you very much. No, I definitely plan to be back out there, so it's a big goal. Um, it's a big motivation, sorry, rather, to actually get back there. So It certainly helps to know that um, I've, got, so I've got a lot of support. I honestly mean that, so, so well, thank you very much. Mate, we wish you the best of luck, and like I said, we want you back very soon. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. I'll see you soon. Wayne, uh, race one over, a bit of a non-event though. Oh, absolutely, but uh, it's a shame for me. This is, yeah, it was a non-event. It's a shame though, because for me, it's the first time I've raced at, um, at Sandown with a new car. Well, a new car, how's it actually coming along oh, and getting your head around? Yeah, I'm starting to. I was at Phillip Island and I've improved my times quite a lot there. But this is the first time I've driven it in the wet and the first time at Sandown, so I was disappointed with that re result. But I'm um, starting to get used to it. As I said last time, going from turbo front-wheel drive to 600 rear-wheel drive is a bit different. And I've got my brother helping me this weekend too, which I'm pretty yeah, happy well, about. Yeah, well, we've just had a chat with Kelvin. Yeah, um, he... yeah no, I think he's doing really well, actually. He's, he's under the chemotherapy, yes, but he, he's always been modest and he won't say, but he, he's doing pretty well. And uh, he, he's been a great help to me so far too, because I'm knows a lot more about MoTeC than I do. We overlaid his times with mine just to, so I can uh, try, try and improve and uh, just get to know the car, get to know MoTeC. Bill, and Bill's been doing his car up for him. It's concourse condition, his car now. It's like okay. quite new. So, uh, <laughs> and he uh, won't know it when he gets back no, into it. No, no, no. I'll tell you what, I don't think he wanted to bring it out in the practice day because it was a bit wet. <laughs> that's, that's what I reckon. But yeah. uh, anyway, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Oh, we, so, we wish you the best of luck oh, for the rest of the weekend. Yeah, well, we've still got one race this afternoon, so hopefully we'll get out there and uh, see if I can drive this damn BMW. <laughs> Cheers, bye. Thanks, Pete. All right, Ben, uh, here at Sandown this weekend, not having a steer, uh, but uh, out here supporting the club. Yeah, mate, I uh, always love to get down and watch the racing, even if I'm not. It can be a bit hard sometimes, but uh, still good to see the uh, competitors, see how club's going, and uh, catch up with the sponsors. Yeah, great to see uh, Calvin Twist out here this weekend. Uh, not behind the wheel, but uh, again, supporting the club and helping his brother out, Wayne. Yeah, Calvin, uh, he planned to come down uh, yesterday, Friday practice, and do a bit of run, and I know the old man's been working on his car for a yard to get that ready, and um, 
we got it ready, but uh, the weather wasn't really too kind, and Calvin hasn't had, had much seat time, so um, it's come up pretty good, and he thought, oh, he thought better of it. He thought he'll just park it, and maybe when the weather's better, he'll come out. It's yeah, not, I, not as hard on him. I heard your dad's prepared it that well. It's in concourse conditions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just done a bit of a number on it. It's come up really well. Ah, fantastic to hear, mate. Well, we hopefully uh, the weather holds off and it uh, stays a nice sunny weekend. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, the, the wet weather always mixes it up. And um, a new competitor this weekend and um, in a, uh, a uh, Evo. And uh, he's come from Tarmac Rally and he's doing really well. So uh, congrats to him. And I'm sure he'll be praying for it to be wet because he's uh, mighty fast in the wet. Well, we, uh, like I said, hope it turns out to be a good weekend. Thanks for having a chat with us. No worries. Thanks, Pete. Chris, uh, round three, Sandown. Mate, uh, race one, a bit of a non-event. Race two, you've gone out with no starter motor. Two, two seconds off uh, your personal best? Yeah, almost two seconds off PB. Um, Carlos is flying. It's absolutely flying. I've uh, spent a little bit of time on it at work and I found um, problems with the cam angle sensor, which sort of brought it, everything into line. And all of a sudden, things started making power and getting some response out of the program that I was trying to put into it with this with the management system yeah and uh, yeah it's just um, absolutely awesome to drive we'll have to call you mr. PB from now on well, <laughs> <laughs> well mate what other improvements have you done to the car because it's been that, a while uh, since you've been that, well, uh, it's my first meeting for the year um, the only real improvements I've probably done I've, I've come out on fresh tires for this this round which is probably quite important with the conditions that we've got but having said that the car's not a wet car I I couldn't PB it any better than a 29. I just cannot get the power down. Um, whether it's me or still a bit more car setup to do, or I'm not sure. But uh, I'm certainly having got the balls that some of these other guys have got to uh, to, to uh, um, basically place it better in um, in qualifying than that. But but I have an enjoy enjoyable time coming through the through the pack. Um, and um, yeah. It's, Started 29th and finished 10th, so I was pretty happy with yeah, that. Yeah, certainly a great effort. Well, two more races to go, mate, so head down and uh, Bum up. Keep, yeah. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, that's it. I'd just like to thank um, our sponsors for the meeting and uh, um, special uh, regards to uh, Kelvin and the family. And good to see you. It will be good to see you come back out again, mate. Fantastic, Chris. Good Thanks, luck. Mate. Thanks, mate. So, Wayne, uh, race two over. It's Sunday morning. Mate, uh, went a little bit backwards in uh, race two. What happened there? Started fifth, finished seventh. Yes, I qualified fifth in the rain and then the track dried out for the race. And I got lost a couple of spots, ended up seven, and I really copped it off the pit crew when I came back in. Mr. Shoots and Mr. Anderson really give it to me, so I better perform today or they reckon I'm fired. So how many beers that cost you last oh, night? Oh, about 12 beers <laughs> and a lot of ridicule. So, mate, how is the car going? The car's going really well. Um, it's wet at the moment, so I'm hoping it stays that way. Um, 
when the track's dry, the V8 swamped me, but um, if it's wet again, I think I can get back up to fifth again. Well, mate, good luck for the rest of the weekend. Thanks very much, Pete. Jace, uh, we've had two races down, but uh, first race was a non-event. Mate, uh, I heard you were a bit of a bad boy yesterday. Yeah, I uh, had my first infringement, Peter, which was a bit disappointing, and... Um, yeah, passed under red, I just didn't see it, so had a couple of meetings with the stewards, so yeah, um, it's a bit unfortunate, but anyway, got a cup it on the chin and well, it's been, from it. It's not just uh, been that, but it's been a tough weekend for you mechanically, uh, Friday here um, doing the shakedown and uh, lower diff. Yeah, we, uh, we uh, diff, um, it's been in the car for 20 odd years, so it's had a good life, but uh, yeah, I misplaced a shift and put a bit of an impact through the drive line and yeah, blew some teeth off uh, the crown wheel. So we built a new one up um, with the help of uh, some, some guys here on Saturday morning and got a, a different ratio diff in. So it's a little bit uh, slower than what we like. We're a couple of seconds slow, but at least we're circulating. So, so running out of legs uh, up, yeah, the, up the back yeah, and down the front yeah, straight. So, We'll up the uh, limiter a bit today and see if we can pick a bit up, but um, yeah, so we'll just look forward to the next round now. And, um, but other than that, it's all going well. Use the rest of this as a test and tune round. Yeah, it's a bit of a test, uh, yeah, and learning to drive in the wet too. So Certainly hurting your uh, challenge at the championship this year. Yeah, we were really trying to give it a good go, the championship, but uh, it's been a bit of a battle with the car and might have to look, look to next year. So we're probably more looking at the class championship for the time being so mate good luck for the yeah. rest of the weekend yeah thanks peter and i'd just like to thank vacc for coming on board which has been a terrific uh, achievement for the club and um yeah, best regards to calvin twist and his family through their uh, challenges so good luck good luck to you too, Jeff. thanks see you later. <laughs> Uh, sand down this weekend. Uh, it's pretty wet, uh, or been pretty wet over the weekend. Qualifying a little bit slippery for you, but uh, we finally got out in race two and uh, you've got it honking, mate. Yeah, Luke, certainly in, uh, in qualifying it certainly was wet and we had a, a small issue with um, basically had an airlock in the, in the water system, uh, had massive uh, water temp issues, so we just shut it down and I only got a couple of laps in, so we started back in the pack, which was uh, interesting when you're starting in a wet race. But you know, we uh, we went okay, and but the, unfortunately, the race was red flagged. And then yesterday in the in the race uh, eight lapper, yeah, um, we uh, we made it to the front and got clear, and yeah, it was a good afternoon. No, oh, fantastic, mate. Obviously, the key, you've sorted out the, the few little heating problems, and uh, the car's going well for the rest of the weekend. Yeah, certainly is. We've had a run uh, today, and. Uh, sports and dance just to ensure that everything's fine and yeah the car's uh, the car's good she's on the money mate well we wish you the best of luck two more races to go yes um, actually I've uh, been as I've cross ended I've got two uh, two IP and two sports and dance races today oh, it's a, a, busy, for you. a busy day <laughs> yes definitely yeah. well, good luck with it thank you Dave uh, a bit of a miserable day yesterday in more than uh, more ways than one 
apart from the rain? Tell us uh, what happened. The rain wasn't really a problem because I came out here on Friday and it was absolutely pouring down on Friday and did some testing on in the rain. It was good and I didn't actually find any problems in the wet. It was quite surprising. Um, pity about the race being DNF, um, but that, that was the way the, the meeting went. Um, yesterday, unfortunately, up the back straight, um, last lap, about a half a lap to go and just the car just went bang cabin full of smoke smoke everywhere on unfortunately uh took it home last night pulled it apart hoping to get here today but the motor's pretty much screwed so uh we'll start again and hopefully be out by philip island well that uh, lead you had uh, in the class is certainly diminishing now with the dnf with the two races left today it'll probably put me back to second maybe in third in the class so um I don't, I don't know how the point's working at the moment because we've had a dnf this weekend um so i'll leave that up to the, the club officials and see how we go well mate uh thanks for chatting with us and good luck we hope to see you out there again very soon yeah cool thanks mate thank you well uh we've had uh, three races down race one we really don't talk about a non-event but uh, race two, a third place, and uh, race three, a fourth place. Everything going well for you yeah. this weekend? Yeah, everything's going great at the moment. It's probably better than I expected. So Well, it's been a while since you've been out on track. So. That's right. The last time was Island Magic, and yeah, I didn't get too far. They had uh, some mechanical problems. But a bit fixed of a all broken tail shaft from yeah, memory. Yeah, throwing the tail shaft through the air, and uh, yeah, that was yeah, not so good. But fixed all that and put in a stronger one, and it seems to be going well so far. So one race to go, and uh, hopefully it all hangs together. And if it does, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good weekend. I hear a few little adjustments because the, the new tail shaft's a bit bigger, and she was perhaps rubbing on things. Gee, news, news travels quickly, <laughs> yeah. My uh, clearance measurement uh, wasn't good enough. Now the tail shaft front yoke was rubbing on the floor in the first race so uh, yeah pulled the cross member out and put some spaces in there and made a little bit more clearance so that's fixed it for now so yep. it's uh, all good to go but it's just little teething problems because the new yoke was a lot bigger than the old one. Well certainly uh, the track's dried out compared to earlier in the weekend that's obviously been a bit of a help for you. Yeah to be honest after I went in qualified I actually didn't mind the rain I, I thought it was going quite slow but you know relative to everyone else it wasn't too bad so you know, it doesn't really worry me the rain, but to be honest, it's much nicer if it's dry. It's nicer for everyone. Certainly is, mate. Well, good luck. One more race to go. We uh, we hope to see you get some good results. Okay. Thanks very much. Jase, uh, Sunday, we've had three races down. Tell us what happened, mate. Uh, race three, it was uh, between me and I, that little Toyota Starlet. Uh, collect me on the left side, one corner, he just I, overcooked it, I think, and yeah, that's okay. Uh, I was getting getting some better lines, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. getting a bit more of a rhythm. Yep. Um, but, uh, yeah, the little starlet, I think, um, overcooked it down on turn turn three, and, yeah, it was all of a sudden he was right behind me, and, and then he wasn't. So, yes, yeah, so that sort of ended race three, and then race race. To oh, race two yesterday, yeah, race two. I, I uh, <clears throat> over did it on um, down at down on corner. I think that, mm -hmm. that is there, and and uh, got a bit crossed up, and a bit bit of a drift on a corner, and and went onto the grass. And once I was on the grass, it's, it's like grease, like yeah. grease. Yeah, and well, I just, yesterday it would have been. I went head first into the into the tyre barrier, and um, I saw the tyres coming, and and I thought, here we go, you know. I've, you see it, you know, everyone else do it, and on TV and that sort of stuff, and I'm thinking, oh, this is going to hurt, but, uh, yeah, the tyres really did their job and yeah, yeah. Um, and took, not, took not all the too, impact. Not too much damage to the car No, either. the bumper bar, headlights, uh, um, a little bit, like, must have been a, a support inside the tyres, and I think that did most of the damage on it, but other than that, yeah, structurally, uh, radiator, everything else is is absolutely fine yeah yeah not a not a problem so we're, we're out there again racing which is the the most important thing ah, so fantastic. that's, that's well good. one more race to go Jase. yes so yes good luck with it thank you very much you'll thank be out at the next round i i hopefully will you be yep yeah i've just got some some body, body bits to to, <laughs> to go and buy and we'll, we'll be we'll be back there again awesome we look forward to it thank you very much <laughs>
James, it's been a, a little while since you've been out on track. Yeah, it has been. We've got a new addition to the family with the little fella coming along back in October. And, uh, yeah, so coming out with the old girl just to just to sort of sign off on the licence. Yeah, this is the one you did the 12-hour in. She's pretty much a stock standard uh, motor. Practically stock standard, yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, pretty slow out there. It's been a while since uh, I've been out there in something so slow. But having a blast. So you've been one of the guys that's been doing the rain dance, hoping that it Big stays time. wet all weekend. Absolutely, and it's just not happening this time. Guarantee you next time, with, with a little bit of luck, we'll be back out next time with the other car, uh, another engine again, that sort of thing, and uh, it'll probably rain all weekend when I don't want it to. <laughs> we're actually currently building a new engine. Aren't we? we are. We are. We're hoping, we're waiting on some parts to come from the States, and uh, with a little bit of luck, it'll be here for the next sound down round. Okay, well, we hope to see you yeah, out there. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully. If not, That's Phillip Island. Yeah, Phillip Island, definitely. We'd like to do the Nationals. And uh, up at Queensland, we'd like to do the Isle of Magic, and I'm really keen on trying Bathurst again next year. But we'll see if, if funds let us, and, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, in time. It's all oh, part mate, of it. Great to see you back out yeah, here, thanks, and heaps. good luck for the last race. Thanks, heaps. Fingers crossed it should be all right. Thanks, all, thanks to all the sponsors as well. Um, it's great to be back out here, I tell you. It's been a long time, and I've... I've missed it big time. You're sounding hungry, yeah. mate. I'm, I can't wait to get out there. I was shattered that last race with that safety car. It was uh, a real shame because me and the bloke in the Tirana were having a blast. So, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Oh, mate, we look forward to the next race. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, heaps. Michael, mate, you were going so well for the weekend. Race four, a uh, bit of a whoopsie there. The wheel fell off. What happened? <laughs> Yeah, you no. Got to do the wheel studs up? <laughs> no, definitely not. Uh, did not forget to put the wheel studs up. My brother does a really great job repairing the car. I did a uh, a uh, burnout coming out to warm the tyres up, coming out onto the uh, onto the uh, warm up lap, and it just sheared the studs off one side. Uh, so it's just a part we've got to add, uh, put in the list of things to check and uh, add a life to as well. So. Uh, never had that problem before, and uh, we'll come back uh, with better wheel studs next time. Well, certainly a real shame, because you were doing so well for the weekend, uh, well up in the top five, up yeah. until the last race. Yeah, yeah, I'd come third in the race before, and I felt like uh, I might have had, sort of, me and Paul Rule were going to battle out third place, it was going to be a good race, good ding-dong battle, and some of the other V8s were going to come from behind as well, so I was just hoping uh, to maybe finish the weekend third. Ray and uh, Damien do such a good job and they were they were sort of the class of the field and I don't think that uh, sort of anyone else had anything for them this weekend. I've had a fantastic weekend even though it didn't end in my favour and uh, we'll be back next time. So uh, Look forward to it. Thanks. Thanks so much, Pete. Bye-bye. Paul uh, started off a pretty tough weekend but uh, second overall, uh, sorry, third overall for the weekend. Certainly not a bad effort in them. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, I'll certainly take second, but uh, I think Ray Hislop tried to gift us with a place right at the end. Apparently, he stopped in the last corner of the last lap, but uh, he kept on going, so the position is a status quo, but really don't want to uh, take a position from someone else's misfortune. But uh, yeah, <laughs> Why so not? They, they a bit exciting, that's for sure, but yeah, the Hybrid Automotive Tirana was, was fairly hot, and it's, it was going really well. It's not probably, you know, it doesn't have the best straight line handling, but uh, you know, in the corners it's not too bad, so the end result was a bit of consistency and a, a good end result. No, certainly a great weekend for you. Obviously the car's running quite well. Yeah, the car's nice and reliable now. Like I try to get it reliable before the event, seeing I don't do a lot of races, there's more time to work on the reliability. And this weekend, other than a few really minor things, 100% reliability, so yeah, that's what I like. Love it when a plan comes together. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, good, good weekend for you. We look forward to uh, seeing you out again soon. Yeah, thanks very much. And I'd just like to thank our main title sponsor, VACC. Of course, New Line Homes, they do a fantastic job for us. Educational Living, DLL Photography, who do fantastic promos and the website. 
and of course uh, Yokohama Tires for their fantastic tires. Thanks very much. Damien, second place overall for the weekend. Not a bad effort. Yeah, no, it was, uh, we're happy to come away with second. A bit wet early, so we uh, we weren't as quick as some of the other smaller cars, but uh, yeah, happy with that. With uh, Ray here, that was we had no match for him, so yeah, we're happy with second. Oh, you're certainly pushing along. The car's obviously running well this week. Yeah, no, we're, we're happy with where it's all at, so going well. Yeah, pretty reliable, and that's why we like it. Are you about for uh, the next round at Sandown? Yeah, at this stage, yes. Yep. Nah, looking forward to it, mate. Well done and a uh, great weekend for you. No worries. Just like to say thanks to all the uh, club sponsors, VACC, um, Educational Living, DLL Vlog, Photography, New Line Homes and Yokohama Motorsport. So thanks to them. Ray, it's been a pretty tough weekend. You've been racing in more than just uh, one category, but uh, IP, great weekend for improved production uh, with a, a nice little clean sweep there. Yeah, look, car's fantastic. I mean, you know, Sandown is a circuit that suits horsepower and brakes, and, you know, my car's got uh, both of those, so it's uh, well suited to here. You make it to the next uh, round here at Sandown? No, uh, heading to Queensland now, and uh, all the gear's going to stay up there for uh, a holiday for about four months. Oh, OK, OK. So you'll be back uh, Island Magic, Island Magic, maybe? yeah, absolutely. Island Magic's one of those meetings you have to do it every year. Oh, well, great to see you back there, uh, and great weekend for you. Thanks very much.